Life on Earth is incredibly diverse, filled with animals and plants of all kinds. Some are adorable, others less so, and then there are the downright improbable. It's generally accepted that while strange creatures roam the planet today, the further back in time you go, the stranger life becomes. One period that saw an explosion of unique and peculiar creatures was the Triassic. In the aftermath of the most devastating mass extinction in history, nature began to experiment, and many improbable life forms emerged, such as the Topodidatus. But one family of animals pushed the boundaries of weirdness even further, the Plagiosauridae. This family of primitive amphibians evolved into what could only be described as giant flat pancakes armed with fangs. The first known member, Plagiobatrachus, appeared 251 million years ago, right after the Permian extinction. It is thought to have lived in what is now Australia, resembling more or less a giant squashed salamander. Being the first of its kind, it didn't yet possess the exaggerated traits of its descendants. It was indeed rather flat, but still slim compared to its future future cousins, which meant it could still swim with reasonable efficiency. Over time, however, new predators emerged, larger, stronger, and more dangerous, forcing Plagiosauridae to adapt in order to survive. Its presumed successor, Plagiocotoma, became broader and flatter, perhaps as a means of camouflage. This trend of widening and flattening continued with each new species eventually reaching its extreme with the most famous of them all, Gerothorax. This genus appeared in the Middle Triassic and may have been the flattest tetrapod to ever live, rivaled only by cousins like Megama for the title of Perfect Pancake. Gerothorax is by far the best-known plagiosaur and the one that taught us the most about this strange family. It wasn't an imposing animal, barely a metre long, yet it was far wider than it was tall, measuring only a few centimetres in height. It was so incredibly flat that it could press itself against the riverbed and vanish from sight, much like modern flatfish, such as soles or turbots. It's believed that, like most plagiosaurs, Gerothorax lay hidden at the bottom of lakes and rivers, cloaked in a layer of silt. In addition, some species also possessed a kind of bony armor. Based on a few Gerothorax specimens and other plagiosaurs, scientists discovered that the scales of these amphibians were thick and tightly connected, much like chain mail. Some even had internal gills, meaning they didn't need to return to the surface to breathe. They were perfectly adapted to all kinds of aquatic environments, giving them a clear advantage over many competitors. The success of these creatures is reflected in the evolutionary stasis of Gerothorax. In other words, paleontologists observed that throughout its entire existence, the genus Gerothorax underwent no significant morphological changes. This suggests that this carnivorous pancake may have been, in its own way, an ultimate life form. The fossil record shows that Gerothorax thrived for 30 million years during the Triassic, an impressive feat. At that time, plagiosaurs in general lived in Europe, Eastern Asia, and perhaps even farther south, with fossils found in Thailand. Yet, despite the resilience and adaptability, plagiosaurs could not withstand the whims of Mother Nature. They vanished at the end of the Triassic, though some researchers believe they may have disappeared before the Jurassic even began. The most likely scenario is that they perished during the Triassic-Jurassic mass extinction, triggered by massive volcanic eruptions that unleashed catastrophic climate changes, ultimately wiping out these strange, carnivorous pancakes. Thank you for watching. 
and until next time in the lost waters